Hi right, folks, hope you had a great Christmas. We did. Uh, a lot of people didn't. Uh, right, uh, I, I had a, I went to a friend's to, to pick up a couple of uh, uh, lateral flow tests. Uh, we've got, we've, we are recommended to have a couple uh, before we go to, go away for something, some special thing. Um, not really sure what and when, but uh, I, I didn't, we didn't have any. We've got a couple of packs, packets of uh, these flow tests, but they, we've had them for several months and we thought, well, they're, they're going to be out of date. So I went to a friend who's got a couple and they he's going to let me have them. And his daughter works at a hospital and she, I said, well, how do you do these things? He said, well, it's easy, you just do this, you just stick this up your nose and in the liquid and, and then you wait and, see. and when the, uh, it soaks up to uh, a single line, then you're, you're, you're negative. If it's two lines, it's, uh, you're positive. She said, anyway, I am negative, but pregnant. No, I'm joking, but, I, but I'm negative. Uh, this just a, it's just a, a trial run for when I redo them properly, well, say properly. So uh, it was good practice, and we'll work out how we're supposed to do it on our own when we're on our own. Uh, so there, so there we are. Now, now I'm, I've had a really, really painful neck the last few days before, slightly before Christmas, and I think it was the all the effort I put into doing those two. Uh, paintings for the, um, well the two parts for the uh, uh, the silver birches in winter, winter birches. I, so I, I get my my body into such a position where I, I'm all scrunched up and I'm trying to do this and the, the, the twigs and I forget to ease up and, and eventually I have to start taking some painkillers and, and, and just stop painting for a few days, which is what I've done. I'm going to do a little one here. Uh, I've got uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, a bit of paints grey and a bit of cadmium yellow pale. Uh, the cadmium red is, is um, roundy, data roundy, as is the paints grey. It's great paint, but, it, but the two tubes I've got, the big tubes, the student quality tubes, the Georgian range, there's more in these than there is in the Winsor Newton, but there's more oil in these and it just runs down the down my my board. So I, I, I won't be buying that anymore. I, it's, I'm not having to go daily around it, but I'm just saying that with the cheaper paints, their paints, there's far too much oil in it. Uh, I use data roundy brushes, are superb. But I use mostly uh, student quality paints anyway. And I like the Georgie, uh, the, not the Georgie, the, the um, Win Winson range, uh, Winson Newton. It's very reliable. Uh, I do have some artist quality that I, paints that I've picked up over the, uh, over the months from friends that have given up oil painting or whatever. I've, Got some like this. This is the artist oil colour in Winsor and Newton, and I've got uh, Winson 37 mil tube. Uh, right, so some Winson titanium white. Uh, I'll see you doing another meadow, but meadow's going to be boring, don't they? It's, it's only a 10 by 8 uh, piece of primed MDF, two millim three millim two millimeters MDF. Oh, let's uh, put a Uh, so something, something like that. Okay, that'll do. Bit of sea here, some maybe some rocks if I can remember them. Okay.
Uh, I, 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 if a high tide would come up to there, but maybe if I just put a bit of sand in there, then we can have a bit of reflection of the wet sand. Okay, so simple painting, three brushes, and uh, work out a sky. So I've got some, some, uh, uh, what's this stuff? Liquid mixed with some some linseed oil, and we'll start with a bit of bit of white, bit of blue. Light as you come down to the horizon. Uh, I need a cloth. Uh, where's the cloth? Got a nice big cloth there. I'll cut it in two because more economical, but they don't last very long, they sink it, get soiled with paint, so bear with me while I just cut this in half. There we go. Alright, so I can clean the brush as I go when I find it. I'll just I'll just clean the brush, take some of that blue out of it and just blend here. Alright, let's make a bit of bright in there, bit of red, bit of yellow, bit of white. I'll let that dry off a little bit and then I can just uh, do something there. Right, I want to see. It's a nice sea colour. See, I'm tensing my neck up now. Going downhill a little bit Still going downhill. Okay, let's uh, get some. Uh, could use yellow ochre, but I don't really want to use yellow ochre for sand. We we'll just make, we'll just make it up.
Right, now then, let's uh, get a bit of a, a bit of cliff. Oh, let's get a sandy colour. It's just started to dry now. So I give an impression of modelling rocks. Put some bit of uh, trees on the top there, a bit of red in there. I'm going to get a little flat brush if I can find it. This is the first attempt at painting for since last uh, Friday, Friday, Thursday, I think. It's a horrible day. We were going to do a bike ride this morning, but it's closing in now. I hope the camera is okay. It looks okay on my screen. People complain about uh, the state of my camera. I'm still waiting for my new one. Uh, but someone else will, will uh, contact me. So well, it's perfectly okay here, Dave. So be careful when you when you criticise. It might be your equipment that, that's not performing as well as it could be. All right, now let's have a bit of bit of bit of rocky rocky stuff. Uh, we want some sort of rocks in here. Ooh. 
go to some darker stuff here just to give a bit of shadow Oh, I'll sort a bit of that out in a minute. Let's get a bit of uh, A slight blue tints to this. I was going to a meadow, wasn't I? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, cool. Let's see if we can just do some modelling on this. Uh
still think I'm going a bit uh, downhill there. to that. So we just get these trees. Too dark there. Eh? Well, oh, not really quite happy with that, but uh, well, it doesn't exist anyway, does it? That's something. Uh, just a simple beach scene but it turns out to be not quite so simple because we're cramping a big scene into a small space so I'll just go and uh, put that in the frame right bear with me while I just go and put a couple of pins in this Okay, another little one for you to well, there we are, just a simple sea seaside scene. Uh, sand showing through, sand colour showing through the thin water. I've put a bit of 
blue there, probably reflecting that bit there. Uh, anyway, first one back. I'll see you tomorrow, folks. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your holiday, if you're on holiday, or not looking forward to going to work on tomorrow. Bye-bye.